Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Command Point. This is Shane today talking about a, uh, a pretty interesting thing that I have not seen a lot of people bringing up. I mentioned something about this in the initial stream that Ryan and I did, but with the new article coming out the other day showing a lot of new data sheets, I wanted to revisit this in its own little video and, uh, and just talk about it just a moment. And one thing really that is, I guess like a, like a chief piece of what I'm talking about here is with this new edition of Kill Team, we can't assume at least day one that everything that was in the old game is going to be in the new game and i and i don't mean like from a gameplay perspective because obviously we already know that that's going to be very different but i mean the certain things like one thing that i've been thinking about lately is morale i, I mean i think it's in our it's instinctive for a lot of players probably to just assume that morale is going to be in the game, but we haven't heard anything about it. I haven't seen anything about morale. Maybe it will be in the game, but I don't really know, and I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't, or at least if it was very different. But another thing that I noticed in all these data sheets that we're getting is there is somewhat of a little confirmation of a pretty important list building mechanic that people aren't really bringing up. So I mentioned on the first stream, if you look at this data sheet, right down here, it says regiment. This to me says, this is probably referring to a subfaction. And this is actually double interesting because we know right now that the veteran guardsmen, they're not the same faction as a master militarum. So like this bespoke team might have its own ability to choose regiments. Maybe they get access to the Krieg regiment, if that's a thing. And uh, they, maybe they even have access to Estramel Tarum regiments. We don't really know, but we got all these new data sheets the other day. So let's look at the Poxwalker first. This was a model that in old kill team didn't get subfactions. Notice that there's nothing like that down here for them. It just says chaos, Poxwalker, all the basic keywords. But moving over to the Dire Avenger that we saw, you go to down, it says craft world just like that. So I think when it comes to list building, we are going to see sub factions probably day one. I mean, even if it's not day one, the this to me is a confirmation that at some point sub factions are going to be in this game, which I know a lot of people have been concerned about the list building uh, becoming more simplistic or almost too streamlined and I was a bit worried about that at first too but I think for starters we haven't seen nearly enough to make a claim like that and two nobody's talking about this uh, and this is a big deal because a lot of the time the sub faction the craft world whatever it is you're playing it really adds to the identity of not just the team itself but how you play the team so this is a big deal to me this doesn't say Warcry-esque simplification this is exciting to me. Um, and I think maybe some people were just under the assumption that subfactions were going to be in their day one. But more and more, it looks like we can't assume anything about this game before we, we have the book in hand. Uh, but something else that's pretty cool, if you go to the Custodian Guard data sheet here, uh, go down here, it says Shield Host. So in Kill Team before, Custodies didn't even get a sub faction. They came out in the Elites book. They never got anything like that. Obviously, now they're Talons of the Emperor as well, which is super awesome. I'm really excited for that. But right here, the fact that it's a shield host, I mean, even even custodies are going to have access to their own sub faction. And that is really interesting to me. Uh, I mean, that should be exciting for a lot of people just to give even like a team like that a little bit more identity which i think they're going to have too with talons it's just a very exciting time i think um i would uh i i'm curious to see how they're going to implement sub factions if it's just going to be like it was where it's tied to the whole kill team or maybe like the fire teams themselves have their own sub faction that are independent of each other but you can like run them together on a kill team 
This is all super interesting stuff. And I cannot wait to see how GW implements it. And I really hope it's day one. Maybe it won't be, maybe it'll be later down the line, but this, I mean, these things, this says that we're gonna have them in some way, shape or form. And that's, uh, that's a good thing. Thank you very much to all of our subscribers as always. And of course, thank you to our patrons. If you guys are loving our content, go check out our Patreon. Thank you, of course, to everybody for all the support and all the views you've been getting on all these videos over the past couple weeks. It's a really exciting time to follow this game and we cannot wait to continue to give you more and more content as we get more information and inevitably as this game releases. So thank you again and have a good one.